Hey everyone, welcome to Next Commentary. Have a Talia game for you here. I've been playing a lot of Talia, to be honest, actually, like a ton. And I think it's so strong. Uh, again, Zed, this might be harder to show off, but uh, I'm literally like, uh, I think, 14 and 2. So I'm like 90% win rate on Talia. Um, what you do is you take Electrocute, Taste of Blood, Ghost Poro, or I Eyeball Collector, doesn't matter, Ravenous Hydra, or Hunter, I mean, and then uh, you take Biscuits plus Time Warp, or Biscuits plus, um, plus uh, Magical Footwear, if you're against someone who is hard to harass. And I'm against Zed here, so I can harass him pretty easily. Um, so I'm not taking Magical Footwear. So I'm taking Time Warp. But, um, yeah, I mean, I've been winning, like, so many games on it. You just basically roam and push. And it, I'm pretty good at Talia. I've played her a while in the past. Um, for the most part, she doesn't really have that bad of mana problems, to be honest. I thought she would, but... Use my one mana rock there just to be able to save my mana. Use your E on the wave when you want to push, but don't, um... Don't really use your W except for harassing people. That's one of the main things. Use your W only to hit people, not creeps. Unless you really need to shove out. If you're looking to shove out, by all means, go ahead and use it. Like right here, I might use it to try to look for him, like that, and if it lands, I get a ton of damage on him, just like that. Okay, that guy gets no Scuttle Crab, so that's pretty nice. Gonna auto attack this guy under tower like this. It's a pretty nice thing to do. Hit him with a rock. If I'm able to somehow like pull him back here, I might be able to kill him. Ah, uh, fuck. I think I messed up somehow. Fuck me, dude. I got afraid because I thought I hit him so I would tank tower, but I w wasn't able to. So I actually trolled really hard. I was winning so hard, too. It's okay, though. Even, even though I messed up there, it's completely fine. I panicked. That's, like, the main, main problem that I had there. So once again, I just use my E on the way like that. Just auto it. Just don't, don't use your W. Save it. You don't want to expend your mana just non-stop. You'll probably have a bad time. You'll go oom um too often, basically. I'm just trying to keep this guy here, but I don't want to get hit by his W, so I'm keeping distance between me and him. He might be looking to reset here. I'm actually going to look to reset here, so I'm going to use my W to reset. That's like the only reason you should ever use W. Because it makes it so then he has a lot more opportunity to jump on me. And I don't want that. Like that. But obviously now that he missed stuff, then maybe I can push out like that. And then it's reset. And he shouldn't be able to push out that fast, so I should be okay. And I'm winning in CS by quite a bit. So, we should be okay. Actually, I think I might stay. Maybe I can get him? Okay, I at least scare him off, I guess. Dang, I really want to kill this guy, but... Without Shaco, it might be a bit too hard, and I'm starting to lose mana. I can freeze this here. See if he steps up again. If he doesn't step up, then I'll recall. Okay, he's coming. I'm probably gonna die. Oh wait, he missed. He's dead. <sighs> my my Q costs one mana, so I win. If he hit those, I would have died. Maybe that was a bit greedy, but whatever. <laughs> he messed up. I get it. I get a kill. The wave is good here, and I can't shove it out. If I if I try to shove that out, it's gonna be really bad for me. Remember to always look at your lane scenario and realize that like if I stayed there, I would have probably really fucked myself up. Because I could get ganked by Kane and I have no flash or anything, it makes it really difficult. It's very scary. Negatron Cloak first, because he's against double AP. Nice. Very smart. Okay, so you rush GOP. That's what you do on this new Talia. Not new, but 
But that's what you do on this Talia build path that I'm doing. I learned it from a Korean player. Midbeast has also been doing it. He hasn't made a video directly on it, but um, that's what you do. You go... Uh, I should be able to harass this guy pretty hard here. Despite him landing everything on me, I knew that because he used Shadow, he has no way to get out of my harass, so I need to harass him back. Oh wait, I might be dead. Yeah, I'm dead. Oh, I didn't think he was going to reach 6 that fast. Actually, I'm I'm a half level ahead, I, I should have expected that. That's why Zed's pretty good against Leo, by the way. I probably should save my W. Literally save your W. Like, and just don't use it. If he ever jumps on you, then just W him. So easy. I could have just done that and never used my E. That's how you should play the matchup. I just I just realized that. So now I will only Q him, never use my E or W, and if he ever jumps on me, then I use it. Pretty simple. Pretty simple concept. And I can also just like use use my spells to roam and stuff too. So I'm just gonna try to shove this out, and then I'm just gonna look to roam using my ult. She knocks him into my wall, that's what I was waiting for, and then I just kill. Very simple stuff. Okay, I'm not sure what that guy's doing. If you land your W on someone, by the way, you deal crazy damage. Like, absolutely nuts. <laughs> I will not allow you to go to this lane. <laughs> yeah, okay, follow me. We found him. So once again, I'm going to save my W now. I learned what I was supposed to do inside this matchup. Whenever I play this matchup in the future, I know what to do now. Can't always play perfect, I guess. Mistakes happen, you just have to learn from it. Wow, that actually hit him? Holy shit. That was a good rock. I played against a Kali. That was a pretty hard matchup, too. That's what... T Talia really struggles against champions, I can just jump on her. As does many control mages, to be honest. Okay, I have a... There is like four people in the top lane. I am not going to help this Cleb. Or if I do, then I have to do it like let them jump in first. Okay, that was a pretty good poke. Oh, I'm actually going to die? Holy shit. I could have outplayed him so fucking hard, but... It... I was, uh... Oh wow, nice. Oh my gosh, nice. Yeah, it was worth it. <laughs> Judging from how this guy has been playing, I didn't think he was going to land his Q on me, to be honest. I don't think he's playing that well on Zed, so... That's my mistake. I forgot what the word is. Oh yeah, I didn't respect him. There we go. That's what I did. Oh really? They couldn't kill that guy? So I have GOP now. Now means, okay, so when you have GOP, all you have to do is use GOP on someone and then just W them. Of course, Zed has a dash out. That's the reason why like Fizz, Zed, Akali are annoying. If I was against Orianna, Syndra, you know, basically anyone that's not an assassin. I mean, even though I'm versus assassins, to be honest, I can still win pretty easily, but um, champions that don't have dashes, it's a lot easier for me to do something. 
That guy's too fast. I'm gonna kill this ward. Just try to hit him with my uh, W there. I could have maybe used it a bit better, but I got hella good poke off, so. Should be able to actually get a lot of good damage on this tower or kill him if I knock him back. We'll see. If he goes for me, I'm gonna save my W here. him. Yo, why, why did the Shaco not go in? Maybe he didn't have Q up or something, but that was, we probably could have fought that. Oh well. Talia is super good damage on her Q, so as long as you're able to land most of the rocks. Got him. I don't have any mana. Oh wait, I have Biscuit? Hey, the Biscuit came in handy. The, I had Time Warp. It, that Time Warp would have not given me enough to kill that guy. So. <laughs> that, that is the reason why I take it. Not really, but... Hey, it helps, I guess. Oh, Shaco? Wow, he actually outplayed so hard. He was able to get away. Nice. I'm gonna buy a stopwatch here. What you normally go for second item is you either go Morello's or you go Zanya's. And then whichever one you don't build, you go that next. Of course, if they have a lot of AP, you can go Banshees instead of Zanya's, but in my case, I'm gonna go Zanya's or just stopwatch. And then if I don't use stopwatch, I'll build a Blavine Orb. And if I do, then yeah. Oh, close, close. I'm just gonna poke him a little bit. There's a lot of people around mid, so I can't go that deep, really. I'm gonna just use this for mana. I can kind of use my mana nilly willy now because um, we see I've I have, uh, Ocean Dragon, which means that I've talked about it before. It's kind of like a mini blue buff, so my mana problems are not really bad at all. And once again, I'm going to save my W, just in case Zed comes out of nowhere. I should be able to just one shot him if I time my W right. When he ulties you, you won't need to time your W behind yourself from where he is wherever he ulties you from it's behind that point Zed might go on me here I have Shaco nearby but okay so I'll try to GOP him doesn't look like we can get anything I still have stopwatch too, in case something bad happens. I'm staying near the wall just to get movement speed so I can look for poke easier so I can like run up on him because your your passive does last a bit long. Aww, that kind of sucks. Oh no, everyone's dying everywhere. Maybe I can go buy it? Uh, no. Just like that. That's what I want to do from the start. That's all you gotta do. When he W ults you, he can't go back immediately. He has to use his W. So if he doesn't use his W, then you're good. If he uses W, he might outplay you. So that that's one thing. You can't immediately ult you back at Zed, but you can W immediately. So if his W is down, maybe he could outplay me. Maybe he could have flashed or something, but... If she Q's him, she's, he's dead. Oh. Okay, so I guess ball lane's actually fed? So, because I died and I had to use stopwatch there, then I'm actually gonna build a stopwatch. Oh man, Vayne's gonna die too. Bye Vayne. Probably gonna get snared here? No? 
Oh, wow, Shaco actually deals crazy damage. Never mind. Nice. Good job. Being a watch, they'll be able to kill everyone here. This is definitely not the best play from. I'm actually normally inside my games. I have like a 4.0 KDA. I'm doing good right now. I have a 3.0 KDA, but I shouldn't have died a few times. But playing and talking is a bit harder than just playing. No, oh, I didn't go in. Wow. What the fuck? Is this warded? Why did he run away? Oh. Alright, whatever. I wasn't able to get anything, but... The reason why I was roaming around because people were already inside lanes and I can't go bot lane because it's already shoved in. So there was nowhere to farm at that point. So... Because there was nowhere to farm, I was like, alright, so I'll just look for kills. Vayne was inside my lane, bot lane was already shoved in. So I'm just looking for opportunities. I have ulti here. I can come up real easy. Oh, okay, that lightning was a little questionable, but it's okay. We got one, right? I was able to knock away one of them, so at least we got to survive. I might have been able to fight if I had more mana. I was kind of afraid of fighting. Okay, hopefully no one's just sitting in a brush. Okay, they are sitting in a brush. Fucking goddamn it, dude. Cody, son. That guy's Cody. I'll be able to kill him here. I'll sit in the brush this time. That's what I thought, bro. Get out of my lane. People are so greedy in high elo to push out waves because everyone wants the perfect reset so then they die for it. Like that. And like me. Like I wanted to push out because it's, you don't just back on a wave. It's bad to do because you you lose resources. But it's greedy to do, to be honest. Like right there, I, I said it. And I could have saved my W. If I say my W, um, I can just W away someone and probably survive without having to use a summoner because I'm greedy and I use my spells on the wave, then now I have to expend my flash. A lot of people don't don't think about that small factor during laning phase where it's like, ah, oh, goddamn, the jungler ganked me and I had to burn flash. So annoying, better jungler, etc. But it's just like, wait a second. Maybe there was actually an opportunity where you didn't have to burn flash at all. Were, are you playing Syndra and did you use your E on the wave? Wait a second, if you used your E on the wave, you didn't do it because, or you didn't burn flash because the jungler ganked you. You burn flash because you don't have the stun anymore. People don't think about that. And it's such a simple concept. I'm pretty sure just explaining it to you guys here is like, wow, League of Legends is actually really simple. Like, it's just a bunch of simple concepts and then you just combine them all together and boom, you're challenger. Like, it's not very complicated at all. There's multiple people bought. What do you do when there's multiple people bought, guys? You do, you, you do an objective. If there's multiple people top, where do you go? If, if you have multiple people bot lane, take an objective bot then. What? Hmm. 
I could have ultied him there, but it looks like all my team was recalling, so I'm not going to. If I walled him there, then Vayne can follow up, and he has no ulti because I just saw him use it. So I was like, oh, hmm, maybe I can do something here. You have to be very wary of how to use your wall. You can use your wall to uh, siege pretty well. Okay, I got his flash. Because you use the wall. Oh shit. That was fucking scary. Uh, you can use your wall to actually. Cut people off. Let's see if I can do it here. Unless we just immediately fight. Like this? I mean, this isn't gonna be the best wall, but it works. Like that? And then you cut people. And you saw how Zed was cut off, but also Rise was cut off. And, I mean, we killed him before I could really show it, but then Rise is cut off, and he can only run here. And you see how the wall would be this way, where my mouse is going? So when the wall is going that way, there's just no way for them to really do anything. Um, they get stuck here, and then you just put your W there. Of course, we killed them before he could get there, but use your wall to cut people off. Also, when you're sieging inside of your game, uh, this might not happen this game, they might FF soon, but um, try to siege side lanes because you can wall easier than mid. If You, you can't cut off mid lane, it's too hard. But you can cut off other lanes. Wow, all look nice. You guys are pretty fed. I mean, so am I, but... Apparently he's legendary. I just want to see if he would try to W me. I couldn't really see him, but... Could always take the opportunity. But, okay, so... When you siege uh, bot lane or something, use wall from like here to here, like this way, and then it cuts everyone off. And then you can engage with your W, or your tank can engage. And then aim for the people who don't have flash. That's the main concept, I mean, because they can't get over the wall. And remember, if people have dashes, then don't don't bother using the wall. Like, Braum is annoying. Um, he can completely stop the wall if he's smart. Um, Tom Kench is annoying because he can eat people and spit them out over the wall. Um, also, you can also uh, wall from like here to here to also cut off this tower so you can hit the tower. We might be able to do this this game because they're not FFing, so maybe I can show you. Oh wow, nice wall bang. Holy crap, let's save the Shaco. Maybe I can show it here. That guy's gonna get knocked back, no? Yeah. Oh, wow, close. But you can cut people off anywhere, as long as they're next to a wall. Like here? If I just do it like this? Watch. Now cannon's cut off. There's no way he can get back to base. You see? That's what you do. You get people cut off between a wall. Also, they have a lot of dashes on their team, so it's pretty convenient for me. <laughs> when you're against, when there's a lot of people with dashes, it's very easy to like zone them and deal damage to them. Like even right there, I didn't land anything, but the cane just like used his Q inside of my. I don't know why we're trying to end through mid. This is pretty risky to do. You should probably just go for inhibs inside of your games, but when there, everybody is just like standing mid, there is a chance that we somehow throw, but normally you can end the game if we're this far ahead. We are super far ahead, but it just makes it for more throwing, to be honest. There's like no real good reason of doing it. Okay, we killed all of them. Shut 
Okay. Nice, should be able to end the game here. So I hope you guys enjoyed the commentary, learned something about how to play Talia. Maybe I'll upload some more Talia. I mean, I'm winning so much on it, so I'm going to be playing it a lot. But yeah, I hope you guys learned something. Try it out inside of your games. It's a pretty easy mid laner to play, in my opinion, as long as you know how to use the W. And I will see you guys next time.